the hooks underneath. There are lashing eyes on the sides, so that way you can actually run lines underneath to keep tension on the cover. Recommended, especially if you know you're going to get a lot of rain. There's also one with Franklin that can be attached to the trailer if that's where it, it is going to sit on, or it can be attached to the one of the cross lines when the cross line is installed. On a sailing model, we normally put it on a rudder rod because there's a rod back here. Okay? Very simple to remove, pop the corners, holds up very easily, or roll it up and put it in the bag. We're going to get you your own show. Mike Zingies? <laughs> well, Mike's a little thingy? I, I, I would find a better name, but... Well, we're not talking about that. Okay, and the five of the last bows pop out of the two sockets. Simple and quick. Okay. As I mentioned to Annette, these two bolts on the back make for the outboard mount. Have to be in there when the platform is on the transom. Because if not, you will be taking on water, especially if you have a lot of weight in the back. Now, off to the platform. Oh, there's super steep first. If you look underneath the center seat, we have strap eyes on the back and front of the seat. Those ought to be able to lash with a short tether the dogs down while you're training multiple animals. Down below on the floor, while you have it on the trailer, there is a plug. Recommend, even if the cover is on, that you take the plug out and leave it on the bottom. Because if for some reason the cover gets too filled with water, at least you get something to let the water out of the dinghy. Right. Because if not, you can actually make some very bad dents in your hull. Now this, this whole setup was specifically designed for Portuguese water dog All trials. All the setup for this boat is exactly set up for the request of Annette to make sure that she could actually train the dogs easily and also safely. This is your, which there will be a few possible changes, but this is the design for the swim plat off of the step for the back has flotation underneath it, needed because of the extra weight that is put in the back of the boat. Very simply, gets installed through two bolt holes in the transom. You put a rubber washer, flat washer, and a wing nut. Hand tight is more than enough because once the weight goes on it, You'll never pull it off. This also, when you're not in the water using it, has two removable pins. stowage, either for trailering or stowage or easy rowing. That way you don't get a lot of drag from the fender. And then simply just go back in with just a couple of pins. And because of the way the pins are designed, they have a little ball on the end so they can't pop out. Mm -hmm. And also, we've padded that. that yes, we hinge. padded. We padded the, the support arm, which is not quite what we're going to be using down the road. This was on the first one, just because we figured it would work the best. But we padded so that way the dogs could not get cut on it. Um, the only possible exception is being able to get caught in a corner like this. There's something that we just can't change completely. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then we go off, let me grab the big platform. And as you see, it's fairly easy to move around. It's not heavy at all. Probably weighs 12, 15 pounds at most. It fits right in the gunnels. Slides all the way back. And underneath, Wait, let me get on the yep. other side. There are two pins that are actually are the same as the same pin as what was used in the transom. They will align and go through a hole. Just gotta get it lined up just right, and you gotta find a hole a little bit. Everything fits snug so that way it doesn't become loose easily. stay there it can move but under the weight of the person that is controlling the dogs there is no way this can go the reason we put cleats on here is so that way the dog and the trainer would not be able to slide off and there will also be a non-skid pad installed on top mm -hmm. waterproof it, and also be able to air in there so it doesn't rot away the surface and the bumpers? The bumpers were done for stability. They were made to stay on permanently, but can be easily removed. Not that it's recommended unless you're going to just completely strip the dinghy down and not use it for training. What would have to happen is you would need to remove these strap eyes in order to get this fender material off. Once the fender is off, then you can just put the pad eye back on just to plug the holes and you can use it just for ruining the dinghy. But they do make a big difference in the stability, as we've noticed, and without them, you would not, you would not be comfortable in the transom. Right. right. Excellent. All right, let's break her down. It takes all of two minutes to do. Then pull right back out. With a, with a little, they're going to be a little tense because wood does shrink and expand. You may want to keep a little grease on them all the time. A little mm -hmm. bit of silicone grease. That way it helps them to slide easier. Yep. And this can all travel together. It doesn't have to come apart to be able to travel. That's why it's on a trailer this, in this position. The rubber washers are a little bit snug on the screw, which is what we need. So that way they seal against the screw so no water can come through. And, and all the screws are stainless steel. All the screws are stainless steel. That's one thing that we do recommend on anything we build. And it just comes right out. Before you go too far, put your bolts back on. So that way you don't lose any of your parts. 